Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Spelunky 2, uh, where today we are going to the City of Gold. It's gonna happen, we're gonna get there. And we're gonna, we're gonna totally actually map a City of Gold. We're gonna, we're gonna look at the whole thing. I gotta figure out how to deal with these crocodile dudes. I think that's, that's gonna be our big stopping block, is as long as I can't successfully fight a croc, as long as there's a real chance of me getting telefragged every single time we see one of those dudes, uh, we're never going to actually be able to explore that place, right? So, unfortunately, that's not really a thing we can experiment with without getting down to at least the tomb, right? I think this is the first time we see those guys. We're getting to the point in the game where, um, you know, one four aside, it requires a lot of successful run, like a, a significant amount of time of me doing like an okay job for us to even be able to test theories anymore, and um, that's kind of a bummer. Listen, I'm still enjoying the game. I'm not saying that it's like weighing me down too much, but it's difficult to do rapid prototyping on solutions at the point that we are at right now. And you know what? Maybe we'll do maybe we'll do City of Gold. Maybe we'll just go ahead and try to um, try to reproduce the thing we were doing in Neo Babylon. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to commit to nothing right now. We're just going to feel things out as we go. Is there a reason? Okay. We don't actually have to go through that caveman. Let's just grab our pot and get out of here. Uh, I should be able to get that. Yeah. And then, fortunately, the pet is right at the exit. Well, it's not a great one, one in terms of resources, but it was a fairly easy one at least. Let's hope that this is an omen. This is this is the game telling us. You know what? Today, it's, it's today's gonna be about taking it easy. T a k i n apostrophe. That's how easy. Letter G. Too hard to write. Not a thing you would write on a day where you're taking it this easy. I am a little bummed out that I did not successfully preserve the lower bone block there. The uh, key is now going to cost us a rope. Or, or it's not, because I can just buy these, yeah, we'll just buy some spring shoes. Here's the question, are we also buying the spikes? Because we totally could. Or I could buy climbing gloves, which I like a lot. Um, I'm going to buy rope plus spikes. I might, I might overvalue the spike shoes, that's possible. I do like the climbing gloves an awful lot, and there are some problems that you you can't really solve with the other traversal methods. Are you a... okay. Sometimes skulls definitely look different, like they look like they're less complete. Like, I don't know, maybe the lower jaw is missing or something is, is what I'm seeing. So I'm wondering... I am still thinking there is probably a way to tell. You can probably tell which ones are which ones are traps and which ones aren't. Now, uh, see, this is a good example of what I was talking about down here on the bottom. You know what? Maybe it's not that that skull, skull is actually sitting lower. Maybe it's just that on these tiles there's a little bit of like obscuring dirt. Yeah, I think that that's all it is. It's just I was I was seeing skulls that were partially obscured. All right, I like free crate. Free crate sounds pretty all right. Really? How did I... How am I... How am I so good at doing a bad job? That's my question. Okay, pretty great. Uh, yeah, this should be fine. As long as he doesn't get tagged in the backside by the uh, trap on his way past. Nope, that's not what I... Okay, well... Just uh, go ahead and feed ourselves to the trap and get back in there. Uh, yeah, I did not did not want to grab the edge of the trap. I really don't like the fact that you auto-grab ledges. Um, I, wish, I wish you had to be pressing in the direction of the thing to grab onto the thing, the way it was in Spelunky 1. You know what, that honestly... That might be a thing we can change. Is that a thing we can change? Uh, gameplay probably? Oh. Hey, that's actually useful. Uh, 
don't confirm. You know, I'm not going to go to the pause menu for any reason re any reason other than wanting to instant restart. Uh, maybe controls? It could be in controls, potentially. Or maybe this is not... Yeah. Okay. This is where a toggle is. Alright, it looks like there's no way to set that back to the Game 1 behavior, which is a shame, because the Game 1 behavior was better. By default, uh, the character should not do things without you. That's my... That's my big brain design philosophy right there. If you want the character to do a thing, you should do a thing. Because otherwise, how, how do you get a character to not do things? Like in Spelunky, if you want to fall past a ledge, you just have to miss the ledge entirely, which is not necessarily a thing you can even always do. Oh, well, that's bad. Yep. And he just, he knew, man. We, were, we weren't we were even at the ledge yet, and he was already emerging. Like, it was too late to do anything, ugh, anything other than just drop down and miss whatever is over here, which I didn't want to do, because, you know, it could be a ghost pot or something. You know what, let's just take advantage of our instant restart. Yeah, the, the thing where the moles attack you from above still sucks. It still sucks in every way. Um, that's probably not. No, it probably is worth a rope. Today, my arbitrary valuation of the value of rope is... Yeah, look at that. We made like, we made like 3,000 gold there. I'm not gonna get the gem by itself, but that was probably okay. Um, especially in the early going before you have any money, it is nice to get some extra money so that in case you run into a shop. Alright, we're gonna try this. I think that's good. Yeah. Are you safe to drop down? Actually, really hard to tell. If we just get down here quickly, we can catch him before he falls down. Okay. We don't need to, though. Because, yeah, like, in any situation where I do want to grab a ledge, it's not like it's hard to press the direction of the ledge. It probably comes from sort of the same idea as run being on by default. Which is that, like, most of the time, you do want to grab ledge. So let's make that the default behavior. But I think for that to really work the way they want it to, it has to be like the auto run in that there needs to be, a, like, a button for not grab so that you at least have the option of not grabbing. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that there isn't. Okay, well, I do sort of hate this. Let's just get you out of here before I manage to actually kill you. And we have a little bit of time. We can, we can afford to bring a rock forward with us. The fact that I'm having so much trouble picking up items that are just stationary on the ground its not necessarily bode super well. Ooh, okay. Early altar. Yo, this rules. <laughs> this is great. Very excited. Uh, so... Let's grab this bat's attention. Oh, why did I do that? Why would I do... I I had just seen an enemy come out of a pot. It's not like I didn't know it could happen. Alright, I'd be lying if I said a skeleton key was like the most exciting thing ever. So if we put down a rock... No, okay. It's, it's sometimes when you put down a throwable, you get a different throwable. But when when it happens, Kali says something about weapons, so maybe, maybe a rock is just not considered to be weapon enough. I'm trying to get this... There we go. This thing to roll and get out of my way. Although I suppose I probably should have picked up the money first. Ooh. 
We do have enough ropes to get back up there if we find like something else of, of huge value on this level, but it's pretty unlikely that we will. Okay, uh, you know what? I think I would rather access this. Um, I guess I have to. I have to deal with this dude, right? Because the turkey's gonna end us up down here. And then we just grab the the chest this way instead of pushing the block. And we are doing okay on cash, huh? I hadn't really noticed, but has been a lot of gems, I suppose. So we'll just carry this turkey forward. That's fine with me. He's like spring shoes that you can eat. I mean, I guess you can you can eat shoes. You can eat springs, I suppose. I don't know that I would necessarily recommend it, though. But listen, my point is, I'm not here to tell you what, what the rules are for you. You know better than I do. Are you a person who wants to eat a shoe? I'm not, I'm not judging. I have some questions, maybe. But you know, maybe that just comes from a place of ignorance. I've never eaten a shoe. Maybe they're delicious. It's just <laughs> something about the leather they use in the soles, man. Okay, so we should be able to get that pet without having to spend any ropes, I think. Turn around. It's doing that thing again where it won't it won't turn around if you've pressed the button. Okay, hold on. We're gonna have to. There we go. I already don't remember if there was anything to the left of where we started. You know, I just sorta I saw the opportunity to sacrifice a pet and it just it just took over my mind entirely. Alright, so nice early Kapala. Feels like a big deal. do need to at least take a look around, uh, but the key is not that way. In fact, we know not where the key might be. Uh, I'm a little leery of dropping this down with us not knowing. It, it, it will definitely pierce the ledge that we're on, and as much as I want the ghost pot, I don't want to drop this down without knowing for sure that we're not going to drop it on a shopkeeper, so I think we're just going to leave that. Okay, there's our key, which is nice. I do love to blow up a spider web with a bomb. It's very satisfying after all the annoying problems that spider webs have given us. Uh, actually, never mind. We're, the thing is actually on the level below us. We don't. We don't want to be up here. Also, what is going on with the lizard content of this level? Why are there so many of these damn lizards? I'll tell you why, because I'm not, I'm not killing enough of them. We're not keeping the population in check. They have no natural predators, so they're, <laughs> they're experiencing a real explosion here. We need to, like, introduce some cane toads. Oh, you know what I'm not doing is I'm not farming blood off of all these many, many enemies, because I don't want to engage with them or be near them ever at all. But I should, I should be... Boy, we didn't get much blood out of any of that. Ah. Damn skeleton. Okay, uh, I don't think I'm actually gonna grab any of this stuff. And I'm a little, I'm a little concerned about the situation that we now find ourselves in. Okay, so kill you stun you, and then I can't really go up until that lizard turns around, because we'll just get lizarded immediately. Okay. Yeah, that was actually a little harrowing. Alright, uh, so... No, oh, the blood. Okay, I think I... Nope, I don't think I did get it. 
This won't get me shot, right? Okay, even though I'm clearly in the tile that the, uh, the thing is looking at. God, all the blood is... it's... It's all just flying in very inconvenient ways so far. There we go. Yeah, that's a great example of what I was just talking about. So, are we going to try shenanigans with the boss in the 1-4 door today? No, I don't think so. Let's just, um, let's just focus up. I guess I need a throwable. You know what? Caveman body is a durable throwable. I'm just thinking we probably do need to kill the boss today because we are very low on bombs. Well, I swing and a miss on that one. Oops. Picked up the wrong caveman. Okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> it is a durable throwable. It doesn't fly very far, though. Got him. Oh, I think I actually... Yep. I could have thought that through a little bit better. All right, well, I'm feeling like we're probably not actually going to be able to kill the boss very easily. Uh, and I think we're just going to abandon that. Oh, man. Okay, well... He does annihilate the body, which he does not do to a rock. Oh, that's a good, that was a good jump. All right, I think we're just gonna go. I think I heard the pet below us, and the fact that we don't see him there means that he's probably on the other side, which is a real bummer. But I'm pretty sure we wanna go jungle. And actually, we are super rich. We are going to do very, very well at the black market. Oops, didn't... Did not necessarily want to do that. Well, the good news is our man here has already taken a bunch of damage. Swing and a miss, let's just pretend it didn't happen. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna hit him one more time. Because right now, there's not really any place for the blood to go, and we got 15 seconds before before we are due over at the uh the other place. Okay. Our Kapala is doing just fine. Let's just attempt to get our man dead on the spikes. Thank you. <laughs> he's terrified, and rightly so. Okay, I mean, he's doing a good job of farming blood for us. I uh, need you to not hold that pet. That is my pet. How dare you. Oh. Well, shoot. really hoping it would just go upward. I love the fact that once you have the Kapala, taking a bad point of damage is just like, shucks. Well, that slightly reduces my efficiency. Hold on, is that? No, okay. It's not a real shop. It is a fake shop. I mean, listen, still, still might have something of value. We will, we will have to hope that there are shoes. I would really love some shoes. Uh, the mosquito probably can break the ghost pot, right? Hold on, we're gonna wait until that mosquito is not in a threatening position. Then we're gonna go grab the ghost pot and move it. I am not gonna try to run it, I just want it out of harm's way. Really frustrated by the fact that I can't kill this mosquito. Okay, you know what? That's not a boot, but it is pretty good. Also, very expensive, jeez. It's like almost 16k. I'll pay it, because the cape is really great. Okay. Kali does admire my warrior spirit. That's that's a thing that everybody knows about me, is that I got that warrior spirit. Okay, this is the moon challenge area. Let's go do that moon challenge real fast. So I don't know what 
uh, who Yi's bow could possibly be used for. But let's keep an eye out for situations. I mean, it says that it it was used to like kill nine sons or something. So look for an opportunity to, you know, it, if we should encounter a situation where we need to kill the sun, sort of uh, sort of sunless skies style. I guess we know how to do it. Listen, as a very, very, very pale person, I can totally get behind the goal of killing the sun. The sun and I are not friends. Uh, boy, do we see anything else? I think we've, we've just about made our money back here, right? So even if we don't actually get anything of, uh, any objects of value, at least it wasn't a waste to come in here. And I mean, right now, we don't actually have anything to carry, so we may as well take that. Oh, crates, maybe? Maybe? Nope. I'll tell you what we do have, though, is $500. I sure would love some, like, bombs. Maybe just a shop with some bombs in it? That wouldn't be too much to ask? Was a very uh, a very cunning stratagem on the part of that monkey there. He really wanted to live. All right, I don't I, I don't know that we're gonna take this bow with us until I have some idea what to do with it. I would much rather have a boomerang as a weapon. I think. Well, sorry. There we go. We're going to have to wiggle this web out before we can grab the pet. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> At least I'm not letting your blood go to waste, right? I'm sure he feels comforted by that. <clears throat> okay, easy enough. Careful. Let's go back and get my boomerang. Listen, a boomerang could kill the sun. I don't see any reason to think that that couldn't happen. Okay, almost very bad. So hold on, let me let me play with this a little bit. We were granted this arrow for our warrior spirit. I wonder if you can get I'm trying to think. I it may well be the case. Oh, yeah, torch for sure. Ah, I tried to jump over it. It may well be the case that every single time we've ever seen that warrior spirit thing happen, the reward has been an arrow. I don't think I can remember clearly a time when it was not. Okay, I'm gonna... Ah, I really, really want this to just fall perfectly down the hole. Perfect. Beautiful stuff. Okay, quickly. Okay, now at least we'll get bombs from the sisters. Is this... Uh... I don't, that does not look like the black market to me. Hopefully we can save the third sister as well and get the good bombs. Uh, boy, is that forward? I guess that, yeah, I guess to the right is forward. Don't love it. Don't... Don't love being over here. And unfortunately we have no idea where it's safe to put the pet down because we can't see anything. Let's hope that this is safe. It's not. 
I was paralyzed. I was par paralyzed by the weight of my decisions. So there's definitely something in the backstage area below the sister, but I am not going to stress about it. Alright, there we go. Uh, and you know what? Let's not worry about that tiny amount of money. I am a little concerned about the amount of space that we didn't get to see. Like, there's a whole quarter of the level over there. Um, but... I'm not gonna... We're not gonna go over there. We're not gonna try to bomb through a wall or anything just to see if the black market might be in that direction. Especially since we now know, you know, from the future, that it definitely wasn't. In hindsight, all of my decisions were great. I would really like to find the third sister, if we can, before we commit to the black market. I'd also like to kill this spider. Ah, I'm not gonna bother. It might take us two bombs to find the black market. I don't, I just don't feel confident that I'll be able to do that. So in theory, I mean, the black market's somewhere over here, right? Down, there we go. Hooray. Well, shit. I mean, we're quite close to it, but I do not have any idea. All right, I'm gonna... That did not reveal it. Well, that's not great. Where the hell is it, then? Here's a problem. The eye is not blinking at a constant pace in any location. Yeah, I just can't... I can't tell. Alright, let me... Take some of your blood real quick. I mean, we did not have very long here. Okay, so it's, it's gotta be to the right. Let's see, we get two, two chirps really close together and then nothing for a minute. And I wish that the the thing was reporting a little more consistently. Okay, this is better though. It's probably above us then. Like in here. All right, last bomb. Also, we got no f we got no time. So, hey, that's hugely bad. Uh, well. How are we going to deal with that? What, do, what does that mean for us? Let's see. We can't go to the City of Gold, probably. Which means... Uh... And we can't... We can't pull Excalibur, we don't think. Uh, there's... Come on. I can definitely grab that. Stop... I am high enough to grab that. Yeah, alright. It's just being real difficult for no reason. With only three bombs, it's going to be really hard for us to get the Ankh. I guess we could just try to beat the game? We could just try to get a victory? Maybe the case that there's still something going on in Neo Babylon that we're not familiar with. Yeah, I guess I guess the plan is just try to just try to win one. Cuz I don't think any of our Oh, we could we could fight the big fish. Yeah, let's go to Waterworld and fight the big fish. Or at least attempt to fight the big fish. I'm... Hmm. Am I going to try for the Ankh? We might be able to get it. We don't have a lot of... Uh, you know, we don't have a lot of ropes or bombs to play with. I'm not going to bother. We're just going to go. We'll try to kill Big Fish, and we'll we'll try to see about killing Tiamat. I think that'll be... That's our, that's our goals for now. Yeesh. 
teleporter I don't really care about. I really wish I had any idea how to interact with you. Uh, that's probably a box crab. I would like its I would like its bounty. Oh, maybe it's just a box. Nope, it was a box crab. And it had ropes, hooray. At this point in the game, I'm definitely like pro rope. You know what? <laughs> Let's just go. I saw him gear up for the for the swing and I realized I didn't really know what was gonna happen. Okay, so this'll be this'll be the big fish level, right? I really wish I could remember whether the big scary piranha in Spelunky 1 had any special loot or anything. So right now I don't feel confident saying that it didn't. Wow, this is a very straightforward level. You know, the clone gun is an unresolved thing too, I guess. I don't know what we would want to clone, but it's probably it probably exists for a reason that's more than just you could potentially Oh, really? No damage? Ow. Must you? It probably exists for a reason that's more complicated than um than you could potentially make some bonus pets, right? Alright, have we really explored down there? I don't think we have. Just to double check, yes, I cannot grab the sword. That's not double checking, that's like quintuple checking. But that's also important. Alright, hold on, let's just make sure we've... Ah, big fish! Oh, oh wait a second. Can I, can I get big fish over here and then whip him? Aha! What's up now, nerd? I mean, we're doing damage. Yo! Ow. Okay, that's good information. He does not kill you in a single hit. I had assumed that if he caught us, it would be like, you know, you get chomped. Wow, dude's got health. I mean, I guess we had hit him with multiple bombs before. But if he couldn't die, he probably wouldn't even bleed. I bet we can do it. Big fish, surrender your bounty to me. You are the least fun enemy. Jesus. The Great Humphead. Endlessly he patrols the salty waters of the Great Lake, waiting for the Empress to return and feed him. And he sure did have a man inside, and also a camera and a gift box. Hmm. Can't take the gift box in here. There's just a dead guy in here. Oh. I don't want to be in here anymore. Oh, but it looks like... Hold on. <sniffs> cool, dude. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Ah. Uh, well, that's incredibly frustrating. <laughs> I hate spikes. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Alright, yeah, that sucks. Uh, we do know that killing the humpback... The great humphead doesn't do anything by itself, but we didn't open the present. I was thinking we might try to see if we could bring it to an altar, because, you know, being able to get the eggplant that low in the dungeon would give us a real chance of being able to get it to the ice caves, where I think, mayhap, we could sacrifice it on the special altar. I suppose that special altar is also still an unresolved secret, right? Like, we have an idea of what we might do with it, but... We don't know for sure, and also, even if we did do that, it's not like it would necessarily... Like, that's probably not the end of whatever it is. It's probably just step step three in some sort of elaborate seven-part secret, because, you know, everything in Spelunky is like that. Which is really one of my favorite things about it. I want, I want a big, silly, elaborate secret. Uh, you know, I'm not even gonna go down there. The odds that we would end up losing the pet are pretty low. Probably the outcome is we would just get $500 for nothing. But why even, for that much money, why even create the opportunity for something to go horribly awry? Alright, I like early turkey a lot.
Now the ghost pod is over to the left. And it looks like we have to bomb to access it. But I will totally do it. I will I will spend a bomb for ghost pot. If yeah, yeah, that looks like a thing that's that's gonna be pretty safe and doable. Yeah, I almost did just get myself killed not maneuvering the turkey out of there safely. That would have been embarrassing. Almost as embarrassing as the way that we died moments ago. Just failing to grab ledges because we think it's fun to fail to grab ledges, basically. Uh, you know what? This is probably going to be safer to do without you. Yeah. So I do think... Okay, the key is directly below us. I do think we want to sacrifice the turkey, but I don't think we want to do it right now because having the double jump may well allow us to bring a pet up here. I was just... I was trying to be safe from the arrow and my attempts to make myself safe from the arrow actually caused me to get hit. Okay, that looks like it's maybe accessible. We're going to need a little bit more information here. Oh, cool. A parachute. So yeah, we do have to bomb into that. Uh, and we don't want to sacrifice the turkey to the bomb because it looks pretty obvious to me that we are going to need the turkey to get the, uh, the pet up to the altar. This is going to be one where there's a lot of running around going on, because if we want to try to score, like, either the ghost pot or the idol... Yeah, I, I don't know, we may not... It may just be the case that we do not have the time to attempt those things. Well, I'm certainly not going to worry about the ghost pot. The idol, maybe. We'll see. I do believe we are still going to have to spend a rope. But I think we can, we can do this part without spending a row. If we're smart. So let's see, we gotta do this. Put you down, pick you up, wait for you to stand up, get on you, and then we need... We need the best coyote time jump in the world here. Did not get it. And now my turkey's dead. <laughs> Alright, well, we're gonna have to spend, then, one more rope... That is a shame, but I think it's worth it. Oh, well, I did a... Damn it. Did a bad job there. We're gonna have to go down to, uh... Down to our ultimate rope, which I am not happy about. Compass is cool, though. Alright, and now we are out of time. So I would love to burn the turkey, but I don't. if we only have two ropes left, I don't know if it's a good idea, actually. We'll grab these. Yeah, we'll take his body and I'll make the decision lower down. Okay, right here. Okay, worth it, probably. Unless we don't see any shops that have bombs or ropes in them. Please don't just be another parachute. I think we're far enough away from that arrow trap that we're not in any danger from it. Okay. Alright. Yeah, all right. That's that's a fair amount of money. This is worth coming up here for, I guess. I'm hoping we can just get away from that mole because he's in a piece of dirt that's sort of like separated away from the rest of the level. Well, I didn't get hit, but it's still not great. Do we have any idea what's below us? Huh. Hey, that's a weird thing. The little the little thing with the handprints on it. Have we ever seen that before? I don't know that we have. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna let this turkey carry us down there. 
Oh. Okay. I don't think we've ever seen one of those before. It could just be a, a normal background decoration, maybe. Yeah, man. All right, let's go bomb it. Ooh, that's a good shop. We're gonna bomb this and hopefully it's not going to turn out to be absolutely nothing. It is a weird little construction, right? Okay, we found a we found a door. I'm not a hundred percent convinced that this isn't just a random door, given that it's not actually in the location where that thing was. Yeah, this is probably just a random door. Uh, here, yeah, we'll just. You have spike shoes, so you can kill that mole in a very thorough fashion. If we want to get off of our turkey. I don't know that it's worth it. Alright, we are certainly buying cape. Do I also want to buy... That's a lot of money. I think the answer is yes. And then, unfortunately, having no bombs, we can't actually cook turkey. Let's grab this. This is the one that has more health, I think. So we could we could potentially kill the boss with just our spike shoes, and I think we do have to try. Uh, is, there a, is there any? Here we go. Just need some kind of throw. Really loading ourselves down with uh, with extraneous objects here. Okay, so. Gotta leave the turkey behind if we're gonna try to do the jump thing. We can have the pet on us, though. If he jumps at the wrong time, it could really screw this whole thing up. Oh! Wow! I thought for sure we'd hit him once and then he'd roll. Right? Because that's how that all... Why did he die in a single hit there? I guess they must have made a change. I'm actually pretty bummed out about that. Here, let's, we're going to have to bomb through a wall, so let's go grab the turkey. We can burn the little dude now. Yeah, if I had known that he was going to die in a single bomb, unlike literally every other time we've ever interacted with him, or in a single stomp, I would definitely have done things differently. Because now we, again, do not have any bombs. Actually, uh, very annoyed by that. Again, the rules of Spelunky seem so arbitrary and inconsistent. I guess you should just expect stuff like that. Things are, things are just going to work however they feel like working at any given moment. Oh wow, there's <laughs> there's not even any money in here this time. What is, what is going on with Spelunky today? I mean, there's no way that he took six damage just wandering around, right? There's not enough stuff down here to deal damage. Yeah, I don't know. Super weird. Okay, so we're doing very poorly in a lot of different ways. Uh, we need to make a huge amount of money and also find some bombs. And, I mean, to be to be fair, th those are both things that totally can happen. In fact, a good moon challenge 
could resolve both of those issues for us. That is a hell of a quote-unquote accidental boomerang toss. Okay, I'm not 100% clear on why my boomerang just sort of fell when I threw it there. I mean, it's fine. Um... I mean, we do have to, like... Right? We have to we have to put ourselves in danger to make money here. We are in a desperate situation financially if we are trying to buy a hedge. Okay, well a shop of some kind. Hopefully there will be bombs in it. Here, let me go turn this in. Yo, that's interesting. How expensive is that going to be? 26? Can we find money? Ordinarily, I would just be like, okay, well, this is the moment where we bomb for a little bit of cash, but since we have zero bombs... Uh, you know, we shouldn't... As much as I love a boomerang, we probably shouldn't spend $26,000 even if we had it at this point at this particular moment in our adventure, so I guess... let's just move on. Gosh, I sure do love a, a jetpack, though. Alright, this is very good news. I have no idea if you actually need to get them to respond to your presence for them to count as saved, but it feels like that's you probably do, right? Because otherwise, why even have them respond to your presence? Like, what's the utility of that? Oh, hold on. Before we go in there, is there a reason to drop down behind the shop? Yeah. Yeah, there totally is. Ooh. Okay, how much do we want to pull that, all, that idol? I think the answer is a lot. Certainly enough to do it. Okay, it's it's harrowing, but it's not actually that difficult. It just scares me. Do we we have no idea. Hold on. You get dropped down first because we don't know what's below and you can't die. Although I suppose that's not 100% true. If we dropped it in a man trap, it would certainly cease to exist. Alright, so all we're really hoping for here is crates. The only th well, no, that's not true, sorry. We do, we do need a lot of money yet. We're definitely placing a high premium on crates. Please, let me see something. Boy. Rough moon challenges. It's like no resources to be had at all. Can we see anything over this way? No, not even a little bit. I mean, there must be... Nope, never mind. This is just the worst moon challenge ever. I guess I'll take this bow. Yeah, that was rough. Did we even make our money back? Why, would, why is that moon challenge so bad? Okay, uh... We may or may not bother to come back for the bow. I mean, I, I don't care about it very much, if I care about it at all. Well, this is pretty straightforward, at least. That guy can just stay trapped in his weird, his own weird little 
jungle oubliette for all of time, for all I care. Yeah, it feels like we're getting a lot of weirdly barren levels. Like, I'm really glad I've been pulling these idols, because otherwise we would have no income. There's just, like, nothing going on. But we will certainly be able to buy the Hedget. Um, as to whether we'll be able to get anything else, sort of an open question, I think. And we desperately still need bombs. Okay, the dead are restless. I don't... Used to be. In Spelunky 1, the dead are restless meant that you could, uh, if you had at least one bomb, you were guaranteed a, a shotgun. At least I think it was guaranteed. I was kind of hoping, I guess, the arrow doesn't look like it's made of wood. I was sort of hoping it would catch, um, catch fire. Alright, got ourselves some free paste. That'll be real cool if we ever find some bombs. Uh, we've been in the the Dead or Restless Cavern several times, and there's not usually actually anything of value in it, right? Hold on, let's, um, let's wiggle out these webs a little bit because these are in an awkward spot. Okay. Let's go grab this idol as well. Yeah, we're getting we're getting okay at it. I still don't like it. Okay, an altar, good to know. It looks like the only way forward is this way, sadly. Do we do we have a pet sacrifice on this run? I can't Unfortunately, when we do multiple runs in a day, I can't remember the details from one to the next. Alright, that's some bombs at least. We've we've guaranteed that Olmec will yield bombs. And we're doing okay on cash. Yeah, the the restless dead thing is just some pots and whatever. We don't have we don't have time to engage in a bunch of this nonsense. Can we access this easily? Yeah, it looks like it looks like it's pretty much on the path. I bet one of those gravestones has something in it. I don't know how you would know which one. Oof, I hate this. Yeah, I'm not going back for that bow. I don't care about it enough for it to be worth probably taking damage there. Actually, don't want to sacrifice this for the gold monkey. I don't know how close we are to our Kapala, but you know, sacrifices are good in a general sense. There's the pet. <laughs> Wasn't really thinking that one all the way through. All right, we're gonna have to navigate the ghost a little bit, but in my opinion, probably worth it. Alright, and I'm relatively sure we have not missed the black market. Yep. I'm increasingly sure we have not missed the black market. There it is. Okay, so now we just need to find some bombs on this level. Which we probably will not be able to do. Yep. For the third sister, it's worth it. Huh? Okay, that's the black market. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, bomb shop, please. Or like a crate or something. So much blood. All right. Usually, <laughs> usually don't people don't say that in such an upbeat way. Gosh, I'm just so excited about all this blood. Speaking of blood, if you wouldn't mind, thank you.
What? I... Mm, I don't like that very much. Well, this sucks. Stupid monkey. Yeah, we're not going to find any bombs, are we? Well, okay. Once again, no, uh, no progress on most of our secrets. Yeah, there's... Alright. Alright, we'll just go. I mean, again, we're in, like, a pretty strong position for just pushing forward. And we're gonna get a bunch of bombs here. Take that, Olmec. So, honestly, like... We might be able to onk, at least. There we go. Uh, we do have paste, so that's probably worth... Alright, hold on. Let's let's enlist Olmec's help to get up there so we don't have to spend a rope on it. So we gotta be pretty careful about how we approach that. You know what? The smart thing to do is just to spend a rope here. Yo, all right. Well, now we definitely have enough bomb stonk. And we don't have as many ropes as I might like, but I don't think it'll be a big deal because we have the climbing gloves. So we can just scale the walls of the little craters that we make. So yeah, I don't I don't think onking here should be a big problem. And then we'll just uh, we'll just try to win. And maybe try to kill big fish if it seems like we have a terrain that is uh, conducive to that. Or actually, this time we have bombs and, and paste, we can probably kill him much more easily. Come on. There it is. It takes him a really long time to do that first bomb throw now. I mean, I guess that's I guess that's fair. It gives you time to uh, time to run to the exit in case you do not actually want to engage him. Wow. The shots after the first one come out real quick, though. So he actually did make a hole already. This is pretty good. And yeah, the, the fact that we have paste, too, is going to make this... This is probably not going to be bad. Alright, let's, um... Put one down right here. Okay, that's not perfect. So the ladder marks the furthest right that he ever goes. I think we're going to drop a bomb here. And also one right here just for safety. Creates a very large gap. Yep, and that's very accessible. Okay, cool. So, it, it usually, it's going to take, like, what, six-ish bombs to carve a decent pit here? This should be no problem. And we actually don't have, don't even have to be as careful as we usually are, thanks to the, uh, the wonder of the climbing gloves. Uh, yeah, let's definitely blast this out and hit this too. And then right here, and I think we're good. So now we just have to time the sticky on the hover bits correctly, and I think it shouldn't be too bad. Hmm, too early. So now he's going to shoot bombs again, right? Yeah. So hold on, we gotta... We gotta exhaust that. I mean, that's... It's good he'll, um, he'll carve out a better opening for us.
All right, let's try this again. Better. Okay, we need to get him to short hop. There it is. And man, that almost could not have been better. There's, the, there's an opening almost dead center of his head. I am glad that we got 24 bombs here. <laughs> Saving the sisters was worthwhile, but also we got pretty lucky with the second set of bombs. Aha, you fool. Okay, so we have we have now at least a lot of like actually doing well at the game type resources. With no intentional suicide, Ankh plus Kapala represents uh like a pretty huge amount of health if we're if we're smart about it, although we obviously have not been doing a super great job of feeding our Kapala so far. We got it pretty late, which, you know, obviously doesn't help. We're going to end up with so much money that I don't have any use for. Okay, that's just Wobbler. Here's my obligatory parachute, which I maybe should not have picked up. Since, you know, we definitely have that whole situation under control. Uh, and we are definitely going to use the pet to murder this guy. Because he is filled with delicious blood. Okay, we got, like... We got some health off of that. Okay, so water world, right? We get ourselves a fish kill potentially and definitely just go to Tiamat. I see no reason like we could go to the tomb just to try to practice fighting croc dudes, but I don't But also we could do this. <laughs> I have decided we're doing this. I am pretty curious if the, um... Oh, camera, I don't care about that. I'm pretty curious if the whale always drops, um... Always drops a present, or if that was just a, a thing that happened. Because if, if so, you know, that's potentially interesting as a way of getting, um... I hate this. <laughs> As a way of getting a an eggplant, or getting a gift box to potentially get a late eggplant. Ah, swing and a miss. Well, it's definitely not worth spending a health to get some blood. Oh, what am I doing? I have climbing gloves. So we're doing pretty well on health overall. Eleven bombs would certainly make it... Oh, that's a spider. I almost didn't... It was really well hidden. Ooh. Spikes, man. Even more nervous about them than usual after that thing that happened earlier. Uh, yeah, based on the number of whip hits we had to do, I if I had been paying more attention and counting, we probably could roughly estimate how many bombs it will take to do the job. Um, except, I didn't count the whip hits because, of course I didn't. Secondly, even if I had counted them, how would I remember them now, right? And uh, third, of course, I don't... Uh, crucial. I don't actually know the conversion. Like, I don't know how many how many points of damage a bomb actually does. Which is gonna complicate that a little bit. Uh, I really want to kill the crate man, but I can't do that if... I really wish that that trap would... I don't know why that trap's not killing him. 
All right, we got the time. Let's let's try to do this. Oh boy, what a what a leap! What an incredible leap! Cool. <laughs> really glad I went for that. Uh, unfortunately, we don't even have a good sense of ow. Right, you can't jump on stuff. Oh, oh, is this is this always here? I guess yeah. There's always this underground area, right? There's always this uh, backstage, rather. Oh, that doesn't work. Shoot. Doesn't work exactly the same way. I don't know if he got hit by the first bomb or not. Okay, so it is either three or four bombs, and yes, he does always drop a present. Interesting. Okay, it was just a parachute, so he doesn't always drop a present that has a relevant item in it, and it very well could be the case that, um, hmm, this area is the same shape. But there's not always another area connected to it, okay. That was, what I was wondering is if the area through the wall was relevant. So he does always drop a present, it does not necessarily have a valuable item in it. But it is a present that you can get really late in the game, so if you have access to an altar, you could potentially um, use it to get an eggplant, assuming that that works the same way as it used to, because we don't actually know that. Okay. I was like 30% sure that wasn't a crab. Alright, I don't necessarily love having this dude around, but for the moment it's fine. There we go. So this will be the lava level. There is no sense in us doing an Ankh thing. Because we don't have the swords, so like going to Abzu is, is no value. And it's going to take... Again, don't actually know whether the fish was hit by the first bomb, so we don't know exactly. But it, it takes like three or four bombs to kill the fish. To get the present. To, for, you know, for the purpose of have a present. Basically. Ugh. Boy, I don't like that. Oh no! The fucking... Oh my god. If that guy hadn't been spasmodically triggering the trap over and over again, it would have been fine for us to jump up into the right. But the fact that that thing was out 100% of the time was a real problem. Okay, well, that's a bummer. But, you know, this is what you get your Ankh for, so that you have a, an extra life. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding? Alright. Ahem. <clears throat> Spelunky. Uh, we do get to cross a thing off the list. We did, we did solve a mystery, so I guess that's good. That area, like, that um, axolotl, axolotl being where it was was such a goddamn nightmare. And I was looking at it, trying to figure out a way to make it safe, um, and what I should have done was just get on the climbable and throw a bomb down there and obliterate the whole problem, right? Because we have a we have a cape. We could have floated over. Sigh. All right, well, that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. We made progress. We figured out a thing. And when you come back next time, tomorrow, we're just going to keep figuring things out until it's all off the list. And we'll see you then.